the 11th of August 2002, solo game developer Zun released the embodiment of Scarlet Devil the high praise and indulgence the sphere. Thanks to the fun gameplay, the beautiful art, and the lovable characters, this game sparked Team Shanghai Alice to popularity. With anything popular, there comes fans of certain aspects of the games, and the characters are no exception. In various other games, you would see the main protagonist and antagonist rise to popularity in the fandom, but in Tall Project, there is one character that rose above them all. Cerno is an anomaly in the Tall community. You can see her be used as a strong and extremely dangerous force to be reckoned with, or you can see her be used as a plush toy meme machine. The strange thing is, she's not a main character. She doesn't even appear in half the official Tall games, nor have a huge role in the manga. So why the heck is she so popular? But before we can get to this, we must go back in time to the very beginning, about 20 years ago. During the development of Embodiment of Scarlet Devil, Zun was done taking his hiatus from Taha Project, but he had an old website that he periodically posted updates on. In March 2002, we can see Cerno's first appearance ever, which was a piece of art giving thanks for 30,000 page views. As development proceeded, he wanted to make his 6th entry something special, so he decided to go for a more western aesthetic which gave birth to characters like Romelia, Scarlet, and Sakura. It's also worth noting that Zun looked for some outside sources to get inspiration for his characters and story, most notably the manga Sarai. The cast of Embodiment of Scarlet Devil stood out to many outsiders looking to play a new Danmaku game, and over time, it grew a cult following which inspired fan art, remixes, and memes of the various characters. Zun's old website then exploded in popularity, from 30,000 in March to 200,000 in November of the same year. Thanks to the success of Embodiment of Scarlet Devil, an entire the entire wiki for Taha was created sometime in late 2002, which held the first popularity contest. Let's just say someone special's in fourth place. With the following release of Perfect Cherry Blossom, more fan favorite characters made their first appearance, including some old classics like Alice, Sakuya, and Cerno. Cerno did not have a big role in this game, and that reflects in her following popularity poll, where she got a middle spot. This was the year that the first Taha fan CD released, Stardust Reverie, where Cerno's theme, Beloved Tomboyish Girl, made an appearance as the fifth track. Her popularity was there, but she was not the face of the community. This changed after the release of the ninth Toho game, Phantasmagoria Flower View. She was one of the playable characters that had an interesting story. However, checking the manual, we can see the sprout that started the popularity. Bro, she's a baka, you don't do that! Um, thanks, Osaka. Nine Ball is one of the oldest Toho memes, and a simple one at that. TLDR, the manual says Cerno is stupid. To the people in 2005, that was peak comedy. Her personality of being an ice fairy with a superiority complex who, at the same time, has the infamous icicle false safe spot and claims that she's the strongest, that was absolute gold for Japanese internet. Zun probably saw the unlikely rise of Cerno, so what came next for a favorite fairy was a bit odd. Toho was growing massively in the late 2000s thanks to Japanese internet culture, which influenced Zun quite a bit. Cerno's next appearance was in Hisulten Soku, where she had her own story of figuring out if the giant robot was the legendary Daitara Bochi. Her campaign was something that you would expect. Cerno wants to solve the mystery, but a few characters stop her along the way. 2009 was a strange era for Tall, seeing as there are 4 Toho 12 games. But despite the chaos, her following appearance was in her own game, Great Fairy Wars. As a tie-in to the manga of the same name, Great Fairy Wars follows the story of Cerno getting her revenge on the three fairies alight for destroying her house. This is the most unique game in the entire franchise since it features the unique Freezing Bullets gameplay that no other Danmaku has replicated. The legacy of this game still affects Cerno's character to this day as the three fairies of light have become commonly portrayed as friends with Cerno along with Riggle, Mistia, Rumia, and Dialse, members of the infamous Team Nineball. It's good to know that Taha was starting to peak in popularity during this time. Many infamous fan videos and remixes emerge on Nickel Nickel Dog on YouTube. They are just as weird as you think they would be. But but one fan circle influenced Cerno so much that it would affect their character forever. Iosis. These people really love Cerno. So much so that they created three songs just for her. Cerno's Perfect Math Class, that one Cerno's Sauna song, and the infamous Chidumidu. 
Her popularity as a joke character started to form in the late 2000s. As we can see with Osaka, he really loves Cerno a lot. When he thinks of Cerno, his brain neurons force him to scream Baka 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 Baka. I assume that he had the mentality of a lot of Toho fans back in 2011. Memes and word of mouth are the most powerful ways of spreading information, and thanks to the most popular Toho meme being of Cerno, it was a no brainer that she exploded in popularity with the West. Her low random XD personality clicked with the people of the time, and thus the popularity of Toho itself. It helps that her two theme songs are just really good, especially adventure to tomboyish girl. It's a catchy and bounty song. Just like my mother. It was the song featured in the infamous September 1st meme, so take that as you will, TF2. More and more Cerno fan content came out, so it's fair to assume that Zun wanted to bring her back again. In Double Dealing Character, she made an appearance as a stage mid-boss, which was a slap in the face to many of her fans. But two games later, Zun made an unprecedented choice. He actually made her one of the main characters. Fans were in awe. Cerner returns with a sick summer tan to go on a mission to conquer Gensokyo and prove to herself that she is the strongest fairy of them all, on behalf of Eternity Larva. She travels across Gensokyo, ruined by the Four Seasons, to defeat Okina Matara, thus making her the Queen of Gensokyo, at least for a little while. She hasn't made an appearance in any Toho game since Hidden Star and Forest Season, which is a disappointment to many, but an overlooked part of Toho are the official manga. Oh. Welp, looks like I have to do some reading for once. Cerno has made a few appearances in the official manga, but most are relegated to cameo roles. Her first notable role was in Perfect Memento and Shrix Sense, where we learn a little bit more about her. It is stated that, despite having the busted ability of manipulating the cold and even causing frostbite when touched, her weakness is a simple torch. But if you feel really ballsy, you can just tell her a riddle if she is attacking you, and she will stop to think of an answer, which you can use as an escape plan. She will likely never answer your riddle correctly though. Her other role worth noting is in the Sangetsuse series, where it focuses on the lives of the three fairies of light. In the volume 2 extra of Strange and Bright Natured Deity, it focuses on the fairies trying to make Cerno join their team, which sadly did not work, thus leading to the events of Fairy Wars. Aside from those two manga, nothing really notable caught my eye. When there is a lack of Cerno, Taha fans are crazy enough to make their own doujins. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Cerno doujins. First off, we should begin with a famous classic, Cerno Toremo no 1, 2, 3. Wait, 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 wait. Cerno has feelings for Remu? Oh, this ought to be interesting. So, it follows the story of Cerno falling in love with Remu, but knowing that Cerno's a moron, she has trouble expressing her love for Remu. Does she succeed? I don't know. The, the picture on screen gives the answer. Cerno does have other doujins that she stars in, of Idiots and Colds, Paul Bluebird, Kyakusen Hajime, Advent Cerno, and Cern Timber, and even some Waltless comics that I probably don't even know exist. So, we can clearly tell that she's a famous ice fairy. Now, I know a lot of you do not like reading, myself included, so why don't we talk about the thing that Cerno is the face of? The plushies that single-handedly took the tall community by storm. f f f f f f f fumos Fumos are a strange thing that every Toa fan idolizes for some reason, and one of the Fumos that are given special treatment above them all, Cerno. If you talk about Fumos to anyone, they will bring up the Cerno Fumo at one point. You see a Fumo in the river? Oh, it's Cerno. You see a Fumo on fire? Oh look, it's Cerno. You see a Fumo getting deep fried? It's a Fumo Cerno. Her personality just fits the Fumo aesthetic well. Her nonchalant face, her simple design, and a collection of Discord meme gifs grew her popularity once again. Despite not having a Fumo, I can kind of see her appeal. I would never buy one, but I think they look kind of cool. So that is where we are today. On the most recent Toa popularity chart, she is in the top 20. Not bad competing against 206 other characters and 4 places above my favorite- COME ON! Every day on September 9th, it is Cerno Day due to the Phantasmagoria Flower View Manual, so I hope this is a nice way to celebrate it. Happy Cerno Day bros, XD!